Salut tout le monde, mon nom est Steve. Euh, Aujourd'hui, on conduit à Edmonton. Ça fait longtemps, mais OK, on y go. Let's go, baby. It's a little rusty. It's been probably, what, how long has it been now? It's been a few years. Taking 100% responsibility for everything that happens to you in your life. Hey, everybody. Welcome to my blog. I'm excited for today. Today, you're in for a treat. We are driving three hours north to Edmonton, Alberta, where it all started, where I went to university, where I was working as a baker, where I bought my first house. We're gonna walk through a few areas and you're gonna see where it all started, where we were then, and where we are now. I'm excited for today's episode. You know, my mentor told me a long time ago, he said, Steve, you got to work hard. You got to get to CEO before your oldest is like eight or nine, because that's when they're really going to start remembering, you know, you not being around. And now here we go. I got my eight-year-old with me and he's at the golf course three, four days a week. And I don't want to miss those moments. And I don't, I don't have to, because I went to work. But if I had to, and I was starting today at 40, yeah, I'd have to make some sacrifices. Are you sacrificed now or are you sacrificed later it's all it's always better to pay the price now up front now so you can live your life but again some people aren't willing to do that so hamburgers ready oh no no chip just breakfast yeah your sign says burgers all day yeah we can do breakfast uh, the burger but it's away oh i didn't oh i didn't know that because your question is if the burgers are ready oh that was my question you're right yeah. you're right <laughs> I asked her if the burgers are ready, and she said no, which is true, they're not ready. No, asking the right question is everything. <laughs> I'm trying to improve the quality of questions that I'm asking. What do you guys think of the new Hummers? Pretty sweet. That guy looks like he's having fun, right? <laughs> I think if you could do both, I think it's great. I, I, I see a lot of people, they sacrifice They sacrifice income earning years and setting up a business to just travel and they wake up at 30 and they're broke and they end up, you know, working at Ski Hill. Nothing wrong with working at a Ski Hill, but if you're working at a Ski Hill and you're 40 and you have no money saved, well, you're probably gonna have to work forever. So you gotta sacrifice and travel early on. You gotta get your business going. You gotta get, you gotta get rolling. So I didn't, I didn't do a lot of traveling when I was getting my business off the ground other than my business trips. The company, that's why I chose this, this business because every year they fly us to Hawaii. Every other year we got to go to Bora Bora, right? Or where, do we, where else did we go? We're going to Ireland and Scotland. We were in Australia and Fiji. So I chose a career path, a business where I got to travel in my business. But a lot of people, they try and travel while they're getting their empire off the ground and it's hard to do both. That's the Fairmont Hotel McDonald. It's gorgeous. Butter dome, they call it. I got a message for the graduating class of 2021 from U of A. Listen, congratulations. You just so happen to be graduating during the best time that any human has ever seen to go and become whatever you want to become. Technology is moving at the speed of sound. Things are evolving. It's the evolution of the revolution and you now can be and do anything that you want. So don't settle and be grateful that you're graduating and you have a belly full of desire. You're at the very beginning of your journey. I hope you're excited. Now's the time to double down and I believe that you will be able to create things in your lifetime that my generation will have never been able to do. Congratulations. We're going to Earl's Tin Palace where I was the head baker there for four years while I went to school. Hey guys, so 16 years ago, I used to work at this Earl's. This is where I was working 
when I was prospected for the business I'm in now. So I, as you heard before, I was a head baker and then I became a shift leader in the front of house. So this is where this is where it all started. Awesome organization. This place is gorgeous. We're on the patio here. The place is packed. Everybody's following protocols. Can't wait. We just ordered some food and uh, we're fired up. Oh man, sometimes you gotta come come back to where it started to realize how far you come. Hey Mace, look at yeah. Daddy's come a long way, hasn't he? Yeah. Since living in that little house. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at how nice the river valley is in Edmonton. Is that the only thing? This is the community that I was going to school in, so I wanted to live around here. I don't see any electric scooters. There's just like seven electric scooters This is the soccer field that Mum used to play, practice on when she came from Regina. Yeah and it goes right into the gym where I used to work out. Hold on, buddy. This is all new here. This is all new. This was the whole block. He bought the whole block. Unreal, I, my house is what was on the corner. So when I was 20 years old, I bought a house that was right there, paid $100,000 for it, put $5,000 down, had a $95,000 mortgage, four doors down from campus. A couple years after I bought that house, I bought the house next door on the corner, so I had both lots. My school is just down the street. That's where I went to school, University of Alberta campus. I rented a house down the corner for the first year of college, and then I thought, why would I be paying somebody else's rent when I could pay my mortgage and have people rent in my basement? So. That was the start of my real estate uh, career and then ended up selling it um, to a condo developer. And I see now that he had he bought the two houses next door and he built this complex, so. I went to school, Mace. This is where I went to school. I used to get on the bus, would park right here and it would take us to the main campus. And this is the residence that they was brand new residence. This is where some students live. Here we are at the French faculty of U of A in Edmonton, where it all started. I don't know if I've been back here since I graduated. That was a residence, lots of parties there. I graduated here with a bilingual Bachelor of Commerce right before I got into business for myself. So a lot of memories here, a lot of memories. We are gonna grab our bikes and we're gonna go for a little tour around the campus. It's not very big because it's just the French faculty, but I'm super excited to hop on some bikes. Hold right there, and but don't. Okay, don't move. 